find a way to save my life. So I hustle. Well, I've always had expectations for myself to do well, but I um I didn't anticipate it happening as fast as it's happening for me right now. So I feel great about you know the way things are going, and I'll always explore all the options and opportunities that open up for me in the future. The G Unity is a foundation I created in order to um, do different things and give back. I wanted to kind of don't make donations to other existing charities opposed to creating a total not-for-profit organization. So what I do is it's all accumulated into accounts that's from G-Unity, and what I do is I take it from there and I donate to other existing foundations. Wow, I felt like I've grown extremely fast over a short time period. You know, creatively, I've ventured off into different things. My first album, Give It To Die Trying, was a little, it was exactly the mood of what was going on around me at the time as I was releasing it. And between the massacre, between Get Rich and the massacre, so many, I had so many successful projects that I, um, I, I waited a little bit and it felt a little awkward because there's a shadow of doubt cast over an artist between each project that he makes. And I got a chance to feel that doubt. Like, people weren't saying, do you think 50 Cent can make a good record? They were saying, do you think he can do it again? So I was in competition with myself. And I went into this record, The Massacre, with intentions of creating a, a more well-rounded record. I mean, I've played with music for a long time, but I, I actually started taking it serious in 97. You know, I went in the studio with Jam Master J. It was my first time having intentions of creating a, a record, you know. I learned a lot under Jam Master J's tutelage early on because it was my first time actually writing in song structure. This is, this is the truth right here. Like for me, a lot of people would listen to the radio and they would hear what is working at the time and try to make songs that sound like those songs, that sound like it belongs on the radio. And if those people are already there that are successful, why do they want a record from you that sounds like that when they have them to give them records that sound like that, you know? Just make your own sound, your own thing, and when the time comes for it to connect, it will. Right now, my top five tracks on my iPod, Snoop Dogg, off his first his first album, the Gin and Juice record. I got a Dr. Dre record, Still Dre. I got Eminem. I got this record from Horace Brown. I know y'all not listening to Horace Brown right now. He only has one album that came out in 96, but I'm listening to that, and I got Marvin Gaye on it. I think the first album I bought was Criminal Minded, Karis One. Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack. Yeah, I went to the store, buy it, so it counted as a sale. <laughs> One of my most memorable performances was in Japan. First time anger management, it was the first anger management tour. I went out with Eminem. I'd never been in front of that many people in my life. It was like 60,000 people. We were on a soccer field. And it was the first time I ever seen my music break the language barrier. I like to see Michael Jackson doing a live performance. And so many people have stolen things from Mike. They use they used everything they've seen from Michael Jackson over. I see a little Michael Jackson in Russia. I see a little Michael Jackson in Justin Timberlake. I see a little Michael Jackson all over the place, so you know, I just wanna see what Mike would do now. When I got problems, I don't run. I just...